for more on today's economic numbers, let's turn to Peter Morisi, one of our Bloomberg Bests. Bloomberg Best means we bring you only the best people on the economy, economists who are the most accurate forecasters in the world. Professor Morici teaches at the Smith School of Business at the University of Maryland. He's the former chief economist at the U.S. International Trade Commission. Professor Morici, welcome to Bloomberg News. Good to see you again. Nice to be with you. Professor, what about uh, the numbers that we have coming out today? Our economics editor, Michael McKee, was telling us about it. We have consumer confidence and home prices better than estimated reports today. Do those numbers signify anything to you? Well, the consumer confidence number, I believe, reflects the strengthening of the housing market that we've seen at least in seasonably adjusted data. There seems to be just a little bit more stability there, not so much strengthening. Uh, the jobs market, we're getting fewer layoffs, and uh, we're likely going to have some private sector jobs gains for the month of March tallied. So as a consequence, people are feeling a bit better about that. But like your chief economist, I don't think it's all rosy. This is reflective of a sort of a moderate recovery, much more moderate than we would expect at this stage of the business cycle, given the kind of, kind of plunge we've been through. Right. I don't know that I agree with Federal Reserve authorities and, and federal housing authorities about the mortgage market. You know, if new money moves into the mortgage market to replace that which is being withdrawn from the Fed, it has to come from someplace else. It hasn't right. been sitting, you know, in a mattress. As a consequence, other rates rise, and the, the latter will go up together. Right. My feeling is if you don't have that kind of support, you're looking at a modest increase in mortgage rates that's going to affect the housing market because it will affect the ultimate monthly payments of the buyer. Professor, are, are housing prices ever going to be able to recover that 40% loss in value that started in July of 06? No, they're not. Not, not anytime soon. Now, you shouldn't say never. Of course not. But uh, housing prices reflected overvaluations of land around major cities. You know, look at New York City. Look at Stuyvesant Town, how overpriced that was and how the new buyers are coming in and getting a bargain. Urban land was greatly overpriced during the uh, credit bubble, and now we need an adjustment. In fact, the president's programs to mitigate foreclosures probably drags out that process. Right. Keeps housing prices from plunging further now, but ultimately uh, delays the resolution of housing values and land values right. around large cities. So a uh, normal housing market, and I, I put that word normal in quotes, how many years away is that? Five. Five years away five years and what are the metrics that are going to give you a sense that we've actually reached that point well i think well if we start to see housing values say about twenty percent above their present levels twenty five percent above their present levels the economy on a steady growth path and then gradual appreciation again i think we can feel comfortable but for now, we have to remember all those foreclosures aren't just foreclosures. They represent an overhang of housing supply. We simply built too many houses. And unlike right. cars on the lots, it takes a lot longer for houses to wear out and go yeah. off the market. So as a consequence, we're a couple of years ahead when it comes to housing construction.